Hey guys, um, so you're about to watch this episode of Pokemon Uranium, and I know this is a bit of a jump scare, but I just wanted to talk to you quickly about um, what, what, what we said in this episode. Some things in this episode that may be said are what could be seen as, as controversial and racist to some, because I talk about a lot of, well, close to heart things about um, people of the race of black and it's quite controversial and I mean no offence to anyone I mention in this video, this isn't intended for any specific person, but I do say some controversial things in this episode. So if you don't like controversial things and get insulted easily, then please skip this episode of Pokemon Uranium because I it's very controversial. I fear people may take insult to it. I was I was originally not planning to even release the episode. I was just going to skip to the next one because we didn't really do much in that episode. So I just thought I'm I was considering not even releasing it, but I was passionate about what I said and I wanted to release it to you guys. I thought you guys need to know how I feel. So if you take it um offense to racist comments. I didn't like yell at the game like racist comments using the n-word and such derogative terms but I do talk about people that use those terms and just other very controversial things. So again if you get insulted easily skip this episode of Pokemon Uranium. The next episode will be released shortly but I need to edit it first. So thank you and if you want to Enjoy the video. Bye bye. Hey guys, it's Purple Heart, and today we're doing a bit more Pokemon Uranium. And what's. Who is dying? I want to know who's dying. Yo Man. Okay, Yo Man's dying. Two more flashes, and yeah, Yo Man survived the poisoning. We need to 1 HP. Okay, um, so we're going to continue on to this new route. And we'll walk around in the grass for a bit. And then we'll go fishing for a little bit. We'll just see what we can find. Because if we can find like a new water Pokemon that's decent, I will probably rework the team. Because that's what I want to do. I want to have a look for a new Pokemon. Something that's good. So let's check our bag. Because I haven't used that in ages. So we got some potions and all that shit. Uh, we got 16 Pokeballs and one Netball. That's cool. Um, if I press F5, nope, that <laughs> that made my screen black. Um, what is it? What's the? Okay, so it's registered. Oh wait, no, is it? Okay, yeah, it is F5, but I forgot to press FN, because my keyboard has, like, a bunch, because basically my keyboard, it has, like, the bunch of the uses, so F5 normally will make my screen black, because it's meant to, like, put, like, if you have an HDMI cable in, it puts the screen on whatever you're using the HDMI cable to connect it to. And here we are on the next route. So this person isn't a trainer. What do they have to say? Hey, key distance from Comet Cave. Pokemon attacking groups. It's really dangerous to go through it alone. It's dangerous to go alone. Here, take this. Okay, we're finally finding another Pokemon. Let's see what we find. So Tankoon. This was a person I was considering to have in uh, Yeoman's place. So let's see how the two battle it out. And we are going to try and catch Tankoon, because I think that's low enough already. I do like this song, this is good. No, I don't want to do that. So, he's pretty low, hopefully he'll catch. I can't really like hold down and be... No. I don't, I don't really know what I can do to get him lower. 
this might have been a good battle for um Kabug. Can I low kick? Hopefully I'll kill him. That's just gonna worry his attack. Let's try low kicking him, hopefully it won't kill him. Never mind, it's super effective and it one shots him. Oh, all the HP they had left. And Joe Man's box the upgrade is like great thanks. I'm gonna I'm totally fighting something else in, in the horde. I think Yoma I keep saying Yoma is gonna pee me off. Oh my god, a spoony. It's my spooning buddy. Spoony. Uh let's use uh low kick. Hopefully we don't kill it. Okay, never mind, we won't use it. Okay, so Spoonie's fucking useless. That accuracy. Like, I did nothing to its accuracy and it missed. With one of like the highest percentage hitting moves. Though he has water gun, that is something I need to consider. Um so Pokemon No, I keep going on Pokemon, it's bag, isn't it? We're gonna I'm gonna forget this a lot in this playthrough. I'm gonna use a Pokeball. I kind of want this to be like a full game that you could play on like other devices like the Game Boy and stuff because this is a decent game. I would I hated that Nintendo like shut it down. Spoony are covered by bizarre sponge like material. When dropped, they bounce. Oh, that's kind of cute. No, got a f 150 XP. We're gonna grow up to level 20. Are we gonna evolve? No. I think Bashawn evolves at level 22, but I'm not sure. Fuck. Oh, here we go. Another vanilla Pokemon. No, vanilla? This is a Minecraft. Another original Pokemon. This is Gen 1 stuff. L uh, low tad? <laughs> I can't read, apparently. Uh, Ekans. Low kick. Kick his face. Nothing. We tried kicking his face. No, we just have to kick it. A stomp on him. St stomp on his face. Stupid snaky face. Okay. It flinched. Okay. We'll just. No! There we go. Let's throw a Pokeball at its face. Ekans! We call Ekans. Ekans is data. And Ekans curls itself up into a spiral, well, spiral whilst it rests. This position allows it to quickly respond to an enemy from any, I'm assuming the next word is angle, but we're con going to continue our tradition. Yeah, I remember this. Whenever there's like, because the Pokedex doesn't finish, because the font isn't the right size so it can't show it all, uh, it showed it in the update version, but I can't get the update because this isn't the right version. Um, we'll shove in a random thing. So it allows to respond to an enemy enemy from any sexual position <sighs> yeah something sexy like that. I don't know uh, was you no I don't want to give a new name to it so I'll transfer it to my PC yay okay we found someone who we found we found oh we found Gibraltar so Gibraltar is electric and ground I believe so good idea for the team maybe uh, let's use a stomp just because I don't want to one shot it because really Gibraltar has charm of all the Pokemon to have a charm in this round I'd be surprised if Tankoon had charm though to be honestly to be honest with you guys because Tankoon is a dark dark Pokemon Gibraltar used spark so he's gonna I don't remember spark doing that oh wait it was charge I'm thinking of shit I'm stupid. I keep looking at my window thinking it's my webcam. It's like, I'm not looking at you guys. Uh, we'll do one more stomp. It's gonna keep charming. I might just call him charming, because... <sighs> Who knows? I 
I'm looking at myself in the window again. I'm just thinking about possible Pokemon we can get before the third gym that we could possibly use. The Sand Mouse, it's spine. It spines on its strand rigid char- wait, it spines on his back, stand rigid when charged with electricity. It's popular with children and young trainers. So this is kind of like, kind of like Sandrew, but it's just got electricity as well. Uh, we'll swap out you, man, because pretty much the only two that I know are definitely going to stay on the team after this whole team change are Raptorch and Yeoman. Cobblefly, I'm not sure about, but these two I'm sure about because they are just good Pokemon and they both definitely can Mega Evolve. The rest of them run the risk of being dropped from the team. See, so pretty much. Oh, here we go. Paha. This. If I chose Elatux as the starter, so this was the water starter, this was going to be the fire one. So the fire guy. So we're going to go with a scratch. Scratch his face. Scratch it off. Fuck. Fuck me, my asshole. Oh my god, he's gonna fucking scream at me. Is he my wife? <clears throat> no, that's that's harsh to women. But then again, what? Like, some people in this world take too much offense to the wrong thing. It's like, oh my god. It's like, it wasn't, even if it's like not an insult, they take offense to it. It's like, why? It's not even an insult. <gasps> this is kind of like a channel where I can talk to you about things, I believe. And it's like... I personally think... That if... I think... I know... People are going to have a go at me for saying this. And people are going to be like, Oh, it's just a white person thought. And it's like... Because I am going to talk about black people. So if you're black and you get insulted easily, don't listen to this. Okay, quickly, let me just read this, then I'll go on my rant. Uh, Baha are intelligent and commonly kept as pets. They can be even taught to talk, although to not the degree of my butt. Um, so I feel that because of the racism we had back during uh, Victorian times with the slave trade, um, some black people, not saying this is all black people, but some black people feel it's okay that whenever, they're not essentially discriminated against, but like, left out, they feel it's okay to play the race card. It's like, it's like, say there's one space left on the bus, and it's a white person and a black person trying to get on. And say the white person just gets on first, and the bus driver asks the black guy to get off. The black guy, more than, will probably say, "Oh, you're being, are you being racist?" It's like, no, there's just one space, and the white guy got on first. So if it was the other way around, and I'm, this is going to sound really racist now. So, I'm sorry if you take it the wrong way, but don't complain because this is a t touchy subject. If the, if the white guy did it, if the white guy was told he couldn't get on, he'd just get off. I mean, yeah, he might be cross and be like, he might have a guy at the bus driver, but he wouldn't say, oh, you're being racist. It's like, even if the bus driver was black, he'd be like, he wouldn't go, oh, you're being racist. Because white people have never been racially hurt against. I mean, yeah, it might be the fact that you've been racially insulted before. But you should never just try and... Um, you should never play the race card. I'm sorry if I'm insult racially insulting anyone, but really, you you shouldn't. Like, n never just play the race card for the point of playing the race card, because you're just pissing people off. Really, that's all you're really doing. And you're just making people upset. It's like, just stop doing it. I mean, seriously. 
Like, um, I remember this one time in high school, because I'm still in high school. So this one time in school, um, uh, this me, me and this black guy were having this kind of like argument. It was one of those ratty high school arguments that you have. Anyone that goes to high school knows the kind of arguments you have at school. Just all the ratty arguments you can have. It's like, I insult, I can't remember what happened, but pretty much I said an insult to him and he said, oh, what are you being racist? I'm like, no, I said nothing about you being black. It's like, well, is the problem being black? It's like, I didn't even bring black into the conversation. You brought it up. It's like, that's, um, again, I'm going to go back into this touchy field of uh, black um, racism against black. Because there are still people out there that are racist. It's like, I'm not going to try and be racist to you. It's like, he thinks I was. It's like, oh my god. I get the fact that he feels he was I was being racist to him. I get that. It's fine if you think someone's being racist to you and you ask them, oh, is that a racial comment? And they say no, and then they explain how they meant it. But it's like, you shouldn't just jump to conclusions. No one should. No matter who you are. Like, um, when... I know it's gonna. This is a really weird topic to bring into this like debate about um, black racism, but I didn't judge Trump till I'd heard like from what people have been telling. Because some people tend to say lies about certain people if based on their views, like you've probably done in the past. I know I have. Like I've told people, I don't. Okay, we're gonna get we're going into really. I do this a lot. We go into long tangents. I'm gonna try and build back out this tangent, so we're gonna stop at this tangent. If I go into a further tangent, stop. It's go in the comments now and say, Bradley, you went into a tangent. But basically, I told people when I was younger um, that PewDiePie was a terrible YouTuber. I didn't really watch him. But the videos that I had watched, I just didn't like. And so I told people that I didn't like PewDiePie. Um, I still don't to this day because I feel like I don't want to be the person that's like fighting against the trend. But I just, he's so overrated and he's just like most other gamers out there. I mean, I yeah, I know that's what I'm trying to do on YouTube. It's like, I'm not, I'm not trolling people to get 50 million subscribers. Like, because he knows there there are so many people that hate him. It's like I don't like him, but I'm not going to go out of the way to like annoy him. Like I just I just don't I don't go on his like videos and be like, oh you're shit, and be one of those people that just dislikes it. I'm not one of those people. I just leave him alone. He does what he wants. I do what I want. Okay, we're going out that tangent. We're going back up with the Donald Trump thing. So using that, like people saying I didn't judge Trump. Until I'd actually heard things that he'd been doing. I never made a con jump to a conclusion about him. I never was like, oh, he's terrible. Just based off what people had told me. I think we're going to go into this route a little bit. I'm going to actually do something now. Because we caught, I think, all the Pokemon that we can caught, catch. Caught? Catch? I don't know. So, continuing on. The talk. So, I didn't get an opinion on him until... Um... I'd actually seen him, and I don't like him. That is just my view. I do not like him. He's just horrible to so many people, and he just gets away with it because his power. And it's like Americans gave him that power. But yeah, um, so it's just kind of. And going back to our black talk, people like based on opinions some people get insulted it's like fucking hell just shut up well, I have actually said that to someone there was a black person that was talk um uh, me and my friends were chatting with them like because they were just in our friendship group and he thought someone had been racist to him 
Um, so he was like going into a tangent like, oh, we're so racist, I should probably go report him to the teacher. I told him to shut up. And it's not because I was trying to be racist to him, because he took this the wrong way. It's just because he pissed me off, because you don't see me, if someone calls me white chocolate, I'm not going to come out and go, oh my god, someone called me white chocolate, I'm going to go rant about it to someone. So it doesn't bother me. If someone has a problem with me, I don't care. That's probably why I don't care that I don't have that I have about eleven subscribers at this moment. Hey, I just noticed that we have the same amount of subscribers as today it is. Eleven. Um it doesn't bother me. I don't care what people think of me. It's like this is a life lesson we all should take away. We all should think I am who I am. If people can't accept me for me, then it's not. And we're back. So, where was that? I've lost my train of thought. I had to go deal. I had to go deal with something. Um, what was I talking about? Accepting people. I will never judge someone. I am not homophobic or racist or anything like that. I accept people for what they are. If I ever have a family, um, and my daughter comes out to me that she's gay, A, I'll be over moon that she's actually come out to me, it's her father. Because most pe most children never come out to their parents. It's like, it's like, it pees me off. It's like, go come out to your parents. Your parents love you. They want to know if you're gay or not. Um, it's like, if my child were homophobic or racist, I would do something about it. If not, I will let them be who they are. Unless it... Because I believe anyone should be who they are unless that that person of being is you hating on someone else because of who they are. It's like, you're allowed to have... I'm not going to deny you, you are allowed to be homophobic and racist internally. So you can feel away to someone if you don't like them because they are gay and you've like and you don't like them for that. It's like that is fine. However the moment you start acting upon it, so like in the news in America, um I think it's about a year ago now. I can't remember was that like, I think it was about the time around the time we started the channel and last September. If like, there was this um, boy, he went into a church and shot nine black people just because he was racist and they were black. It's like, that shouldn't happen. It's like, it's just a horrible thing that happened. And I'm, I'm sorry for those families. But it's like, it's a horrible thing that shouldn't have happened. Those people were just there praying to the God of Christ. I think it was a, I think it was a Christian church, so... Praying to God, so he would be called, and they were shot whilst they were praying. And it's like, that's horrible. And there are so many things wrong with this world. And it's like, the thing is, we can't really go, I can't really like place a blame, but if I were to place a blame on who violent, pretty much violence kind of came along. Like, we've always had wars between countries. Oh, like, England has even had one. Most people don't actually know this. But England has had its civil war between the royalists and... Who was it? Oh, we got an Um It was the royalists and the potheads or something. The panheads? I don't remember. Um, it's like... We've had, our, we've had our civil war. It's like, that's fine. Like, if a country needs to sort themselves out, decide where they stand, that's fine. And now we've got a more, we've got a better system where we're actually sorting it, like by what, how our views stand, and we'll actually talk it out in court and all that. It's like that's good. But before we usually just shot each other if we didn't have what we wanted. It's like that's not good. Don't want that. And it's like I can't place a blame over who made weapons. But there are people that made problems with weapons. I'm going off into a tan. I could, I could probably vlog this. Um, 
we're we'll continuing this episode for a little bit, so I'll just keep playing and I'll keep talking about this. Who I blame for the advancements in weapons. Um, so I think one, two big participants from the, off the top of my head, basically, on what we're doing in history. Off the top of my head, two big participants into kind of the world we know today are the USSR, so Stalin, pretty much, so Joseph Stalin of communism, and um, Harry Truman, uh, one of the American presidents. Those two hated each other. And do you know what they did? They made the Cold fucking War. Now, of course, the Cold War, it, everyone thinks, oh, it's the Cold War, people died. N I, don't, I don't actually think anyone died during the Cold War by, like, hands of other people. Like, I don't think any Russians entered America saying, oh, we're going to kill you because you're capitali capitalist. And you stand against what we are, what we leave in. I don't think any of that happened. Um, I think... I don't think anyone died due to the causes, but because they both hated each other, they wanted to be better than the other. So they'd be like, oh, capitalism's better than communism, communism's better, communism's better than capitalism. It's like, because of, the, because of this war they had between each other, they both got into an argument, and they got into the arms race and the space race. Now, the space race was good. They could do that. I would be fine with that. And I'm fine with the fact they did the space race. They can do that. I don't care. Do the space race all you want. However, the arms race, that wasn't good. The space race, that was just them testing rockets and throwing things into space. That's fine. If they didn't do that, then we wouldn't have the world we know today. We wouldn't well, think about it. We probably wouldn't have as good phone signals we do today. Because satellites up there are sorting out all this Wi-Fi and signals and stuff. It's like, so, that is great. It, sorts, it pretty much makes the world we have today positive. But, the space race only, became, only came from the arms race between the two countries. And that is because the two countries wanted to outdo each other. And because America made the nuclear bomb, or the atomic bomb, I can't remember what it's called. I think they are pretty much just the same thing. But America made it, and then Stalin got across, and he was like, I want that. Make it. And both countries poured so much money into making the perfect destructive weapon. Um... Pretty much after that, the next advancement was the H bombs, the hydrogen bomb, which is a thousand times more destructive um, than oh, yellow only flame wheel, uh, which was a thousand times more destructive than um, the atomic bomb, um, and then America made it smaller so it could fit in a bomber plane, and. Russia kept up with this, then they made the uh, intercontinental ballistic bomb, which is more powerful than the hydrogen bomb, and it's like, they just got into such a panic, and then the rest of the world panicked, they were just like, oh my god, these two countries, which are having a pretty much a war at the moment, which could flip out at any second, and just get drastically out of control. These two are having a little fight. And then the war became... And then everyone went into panic. And because of them, every country feels they have to have nukes and a secret base. Every country has this. No matter what country you're in. Your country has a secret military base with nukes in. So if any country... We're pretty much in a state of stalemate. Every country has enough to take out any other country that attacks it. And it's like, should anyone attack Britain? So this is from the British perspective. We have our secret base. I don't know where, as a civilian, I don't know. So every country does. 
It's like everyone's in stalemate because of this arms race between them. And it's like, great. You fucked up. You bunches. And as much as I want to keep yammering on to you guys about history, we do need to end the episode at some point. So I'll probably yammer on to you guys about history tomorrow. <laughs> I could do history revision sessions for you guys if you wanted. But besides that, I gotta go. So thank you guys so much for, for watching and listening to my rant today. If you made it through this episode, I am proud of you. You made it through me ranting about racism and the war and the world we know today. So I feel like I've told you guys a lot. It's like, that felt nice. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. I genuinely do. Whatever number episode of Pokemon Uranium this is, I hope you enjoyed this episode. That that would be nice to know. Did you actually like it? Like the episode if you did. I know we have 11 subscribers, so we're going to start with a little number. And that's going to sound really patronizing to myself. Can we get five likes on the video? Five. That's it. That's all I'm asking. Five. So I just know half of you liked what I was talking about. Racism. Big, just five little likes. Five likes. Can we do that? That will make my day. It will, it will mean to me that you guys like listening to me rant. And if you have a thought of me ranting, like anything about what I said, like if there was something I got wrong, or like do you agree with what I said, or do you disagree, put a comment in the description. I genuinely want to hear what you have to say. Like, some YouTubers just like, oh, I want to hear what you say flippantly. I do want to hear what you say, because I've said, I've spoken a lot about how I feel personally today. I want to hear what you guys think. Tell me what you think. I want to know. So you don't just think, oh, I watched it. That's fine. Close the video. Let's go choose something else. Let's go watch PewDiePie or Jacksepticeye or Markiplier now. Tell me what you think. Take the time. It means a lot to me that you're, even if you are commenting. And can I just say, David... Your shit. Yeah, this is David I worked with a few weeks ago. You still need to post, don't hug me, I'm scared. And don't try and be flippant in my comments. Yeah, he tried to put a flippant comment. I removed it. You dick. Dick. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Purple Heart. And if you enjoyed this episode, why not like, comment, subscribe, or even ring that notification bell? That sounded really seductive.